hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is cynthia and today i'm going to be telling you how to do the sponsors that will be able to sponsor you to work in the uk as a carer or as a nurse if that is something you've been trying to know make sure you stick around and watch this video to the end welcome back to my youtube channel and on this channel i do a lot of things and that includes talking about how carers how nurses can migrate to the uk to work from overseas because i'm one of them so i'm also i'm very very passionate about talking about this so um it's not more a news that the uk will be trying to recruit health care assistants from overseas so many people are aware of it already but the problem lies on people not really knowing the sponsors that are able to sponsor them so obviously there are many sponsors out there there are many employers out there but unfortunately all of them cannot sponsor people from outside the country so all of them can't sponsor people to come and work from overseas and that's one of the reasons why people end up applying for jobs that they're not gonna get the sponsorship for if you listen to this video i'll be telling you how you'll be able to know the sponsors that are gonna sponsor you and along the line i will also show you and then drop some links as, as well so you'll be able to compare everything compare your offers compare the jobs that you're applying for and make sure you're applying for the right job and not wasting your time when you try to apply for a job you go to linkedin you go to indeed you go to read or all those sites that you go to to look for job right try to check the names of the employers that you are applying for compare it with the list that will be dropping on this video so there's a list that will be putting down on the description box and also a link so this list was updated just two days ago from the day i'm filming this video so you have to check it properly it was updated on the 4th of february 2022 so it's quite recent it's been updated all the time so all the employers that have the license to employ from overseas even the universities the companies other firms like opticians all of them are included on this list so when you compare it you'll be able to find out and you'll be able to like separate the employers that are going to give you a sponsorship from the ones that are not going to give you and then you go straight to the ones that are going to give you the sponsorship that you've been wanting go straight apply and get everything ready instead of wasting time applying for the wrong jobs and then at the end of the day i've heard people say that oh they apply for like 100 jobs and they're being called for one or maybe called for 20 and you know what i mean so just try and channel your energy to something that's gonna work for you and not trying to like apply for any job you see online and at the end of the day you end up with no job i see many people saying oh just go on just apply just apply but at the end of the day it doesn't make sense doing the wrong thing but when you're applying with an agency obviously you can't really determine the employers that they're going to get for you so that's their job that's entirely their job but why i'm saying this is that the rate at which agencies help to employ now has totally decreased. So many of them don't really recruit actively, especially from the red list countries, which Nigeria, Ghana, and Kenya was um, recently added to the red list of the countries. So this red list is just um, a bunch of countries where the WHO ask them not to recruit from because those countries are developing and they need the workforce i'm gonna go to the laptop now and show you how you will know these employers and how to vet your application properly before doing any application so i'm gonna be showing you how to find out the sponsors that have the license to get you from overseas as a carer so if we go here so i'll also drop this link for you guys if you go to gov.uk you will see that this is a guidance for register of worker and temporary worker this um license sponsor so this is what we are looking for the license sponsors that's the bit we are looking for and if you look at here you will see that this was uh updated on the 4th of february 2022 so it's quite recent this is just two days ago for me that making this video and hopefully this video will be live tomorrow so it's very very recent um so here you can see the organization name town and city the county the type and rating so this list contains all the organizations that can recruit from outside the uk and sponsor you to work and they've all got ratings so the eight ratings i will explain to you 
Um, county is just the area where the um, employer is and town and city is quite simple, the city where the um, employer is. So when you go to the last bit, we see the type and rating and then the route. So type and rating, A rating stands for like, um, the employers that have got like the highest rating. So these employers include like NHS hospitals that have got um, um, a big reputation and good reputation and they haven't faltered in any way in terms of visas, in terms of um, home office and I mean in terms of everything that is the standard of this um, license, they haven't faltered anyway. Then you have the B rating as well. I don't know if I can say the ones under B rating, but the B rating are the ones that have got some issues with um, probably home office or trying to maintain people that they've employed. We don't really want to know about this bit really, but we just want to be sure that an employer is licensed. So when you come here, you can see the route. So in this case, we are talking about the skill worker. And um, this list contains the whole organizations that can recruit under the new health and care visa. So this list is very, 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 very comprehensive and it goes from letter A to the last letter and you can go through it on your own and you can also download the file to its, to view its um, full content. So let me show you how to use it to actually minimize wasting of time on unnecessary applications. So let me go to Google, to Firefox, and let's type um, Oversee Kera, um, maybe Kera Jobs UK. So anything you type on Google about this Kera job, you should be able to see something. So let's go to the jobs. As you can see here, we have lots of jobs that were advertised 23 hours ago, two days ago, um, NHS job and all of that. So let's check the first link that we are seeing here. And um, so this is Cucumber Agency. Um, so if you look at this, I'm trying to see if this job is actually meant for people overseas. And from what you can see here, you can see the um, email, the telephone number is required. So, and the postcode. So this shows that this work is actually for people that are in the UK and it's already asking you for your DBS, that's the police thingy, and it's asking you for if you drive and all of that. So this alone shows that this job is just for people living in the UK. Helping Hands Care Home. So if you look at here, you will see international information, looking to work in the UK, our international centers, apply now. So if you're trying to apply, you apply from there. The name of the company is Helping Hands. We're gonna go back to the license sponsors list and see if this Helping Hands Care Home are also there so i've just downloaded the whole list so this is for oh now this is nice so you can see it's from number one to the last number and we are looking for helping hands care home so let me go try and drop down to h so i've gotten to h and i can't find helping hands care home here Helping Hands Care Limited. The only thing I can see here is helpful desk and all of that. So there is no helping hands. Let's go back to um, the job and read properly. So I think, okay. So guys, I can see. So this job is actually only for people in the UK. So if you can read here, you can see where it says, if you have the right to work in the UK. So this job is not for someone outside the UK. So they are recruiting now for care support workers. So I went to their website and I can see that the job is just there and the work, um, it's at Bracknell. So this is where it is. That's the town where this um, employer is. So now we're going to go to the list and see if they're actually a licensed sponsor and then we can go ahead with our application so hopefully they are there for them to for them to um, advertise for this job for international people so that means that they should be there so let's have a look um so the name is loving care loving angels bracknell 
so that is loving angels care and is a back now is a back share under a rated so everything is there and that's their license number so you can see it's pretty easy it's quite very it's quite easy but if you don't do it the right way you will see that you waste a lot of time trying to get the right job if we didn't check for the first one we wouldn't even know we'll go ahead and blindly apply for the job and at the end of the day you're like oh i've applied for 100 jobs i've applied for 200 jobs no one is calling me you have to do it the right way if you don't do it the right way you know you're not gonna get any job really so i will drop a link of everything i've mentioned and i've talked about on this video so you do this the right way get an employer look for it make sure the employer is there and is licensed with the license number and then you can apply please don't apply blindly because you end up wasting your time and these people are not going to call you so thank you for watching and don't forget to tell me in the comment section whatever you would like to know about this new health and care worker visa because it's pretty new and people are not just aware of the things to do so make sure you drop a comment and tell me what you would like me to tell you about or any question or all of those good stuff and i wish you well on your journey thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one bye